Hi, I'm Susan John Antonio, and in this 10 minute video, I want to share with you uh, the way that I have been approaching the landscape, and in this case, the garden landscape, in spite of the fact that it's hot as all get out <laughs> here in Texas. It's the middle of the summer, and I can't get out to do plein air painting, but I decided to pull out some favorite photos that I had on my phone uh, from various gardens and um, travels that I've done over the past years and see if I can't mentally place myself in those spaces and still come out with a relatively fresh painting. My, uh, my goal here is to try to create marks and textures so that the landscape and the garden is abstracted. I don't want to represent this flower and this shrub and this foreground and this mountain and this sky. And so in order to um, extrapolate the bits of textures and put more energy into my work, I work a little bit differently. And so I take a piece of watercolor paper and I try to interpret fast energetic marks onto the paper with the intention of using those bits to tear up and collage into my sketchbook if I need to tear them up or sometimes I can find uh, something um, in that painting that actually works as it stands without collaging. You'll see what I mean when uh, you look at this. Now I want to say my uh, intentions here in this video uh, are not to create paintings per se. I'm working in my sketchbook to provide myself inspiration so that when I go to a larger canvas uh, I can work from these sketches and I will have already abstracted the landscape in my sketches so that when I work uh, and get ideas from these uh, sketches in my sketchbook, I am much more free about interpreting what I've seen. So I'm trying to get away from those pictures, from the photos, that is, and um, this is a several step process toward my goal of painting paintings. I think you'll see what I mean. Take a look. Okay, I've chosen this photo because it has lots of texture and color. And uh, we'll see what we can do regarding creating a couple of watercolors. Uh, well, I should say acrylics on watercolor paper. My goal here is to make um, dynamic, quick, energetic marks. Um, so that I might be able to find some passages in a couple of these paintings to inspire me to work larger. I'll be putting these into my sketchbook a little later in this video, trying to decide on some uh, compositions that I might pull from. So here I'm using Nova paints. Um, I use Nova paints a lot in my studio. When I'm out and about, I'm apt to carry um, tubes of paint, but this is a very basic uh, palette that I'm using. I've just put down some phthalo turquoise, some uh, dark green, some cadmium yellow, white, and black, and I'm kind of mixing them as I go obviously with the intention of just getting some marks in there. I want dynamic, energetic marks. I'm not trying to render each flower or each leaf. I just want the general feeling of what it was like when I looked at this uh, beautiful plant in person. I'm putting in some darks here using my palette knife. Uh, you'll see up in the right corner, I'm even using uh, a child's watercolor paintbrush, you know, made in China. Cheap, cheap, cheap. But um, the 
goal here, obviously, is to try to get as many marks. Okay, I'm doing another one. Um, I'm going at it a little bit differently. I'm not putting the darks in first this time. Just kind of trying to uh, interpret some of the greens, the really deep dark greens and bright turquoisey greens. Here I'm whacking my paintbrush and splashing a little bit, smearing those marks. Just trying to get sort of the texture of what I'm looking at in this garden view. Um, I'll remind you that I'm not interested in creating a beautiful painting here. What I want to do is come away with a couple of sheets of um, mark making inspired by a very quick interpretation of uh, what it was like to to look into this garden and peer into all of these textures. And once I get these papers kind of finished, you'll see me um, trying to figure out which parts of them I want to carry into my notebook and eventually, hopefully from there, um, be inspired to do larger pieces. This takes the, uh, the pressure off of doing a beautiful rendering of uh, realistic watercolor or, or uh, acrylic painting when I work this way. I particularly appreciate the, the roughness, the rawness of uh, this type of mark making, no matter whether I'm doing a landscape, a floral, whatever the subject matter, um, I'm really enjoying mark making. So I'm taking some bits of paper and I'm trying to locate some smaller pieces in here that I feel will inspire me to work large. Some standalone um, areas from these paintings. And this is the secret to this type of uh, of of painting, I'm not, I don't have the pressure of accomplishing a big masterpiece here. But as I accumulate these little sketches into my notebooks, I find that flipping through my books provides me all kinds of ideas for working larger. There's no right or wrong here. I try not to belabor this process too much. I'm just kind of going with my intuition here to decide what I like and what I don't like. And I throw away the parts that I don't like and try to salvage some things that will serve me um, in the future. I'm using uh, a PVA glue you know, you could use a gel medium, you could use a matte medium, any kind of glue. I just happen to uh, have PVA glue. And um, I spread it around with my palette knife. I've found that that really spreads it nicely. And I'm pretty generous with the glue when I'm putting them in the book. Okay, here I had an idea that um, I might be able to collage some bits together and uh, some of these um, paintings sometimes turn into three or four or five pieces uh, in order to get a composition that pleases my eye. Forgive my, my husband's clocks are chiming here. Now in, in this case, I'm kind of undecided about how to finish this. 
Um, I'm knocking around some ideas of maybe adding that little white corner in the bottom left bothers me. And I knock around the idea of putting something over that, but I'm not really liking what I'm finding here. So I have another idea. Once I get it placed in my notebook, I'm going to go and find myself a little bit of green paint and that seems to work for me. So I have a few compositions just with a, an afternoon uh, full of painting. This, this whole process probably took me, mm, I would say, two hours altogether, though um, I painted them one day and came back and did the uh, gluing into my sketchbook another day, but I would say all total it probably took me a couple of hours and I'm so happy to have my notebooks filling up with these little sketches because um, as I approach my larger canvases I'll have some really good ideas. Um, I probably won't recreate any one of these wholly but I will snatch from them uh, little, I, little marks and textures, you know, one, one mark or color from one and another form from another as I uh, create my bigger pieces. But these are, for me, a great deal of fun to, uh, to collect and to build upon. So thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope to see you again.